Okay, so in this video we're going to look at the uh, equations of the uh, locus of points uh, moving in relation to given rules. So we've got a point P here, and we're going to just quickly look at uh, what it's talking about. Write down in terms of y an expression for the distance of P from the line y equals 2. Well, if I look at this sketch of a general point x, y on a coordinate axis, then the distance of that point to the x-axis is y, and the distance of that point to the y-axis is x, which is given by the coordinates. So if I'm looking at the distance of p from the line y equals 2, then the whole of that distance was y, but I'm too short, so this distance here must be y, take away 2. The distance from here to here, well, it started at 0 on the x-axis and went across to the point x. So the distance here must be x. So write down in terms of y an expression of the distance of p. Well, that is simply y take away 2. Write down in terms of x and y an expression for the distance of p from the point 0, 4. Well, we can see once I join that uh, point there, we created a right angle triangle. And the distance of that line there is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. We know two side lengths, and therefore we can work out the distance of that line using Pythagoras. Well, if I sketch out the triangle that we're dealing with, then we can see that this side was x. This is the distance we want. It's a right angle triangle. Uh, this distance here, well, it's not y minus 2, because that goes all the way down to the line y equals 2, but it actually is in line with the point on the y-axis of 4. So this distance here is y take away 4. So using Pythagoras, we recognize Pythagoras says square the short sides, add them together, equals the square of the hypotenuse length. So we've got the length x along the bottom here for x squared. The length at the side there is y minus 4, an expression with two terms or more in a bracket. Add it together, and that equals the length of c squared. Therefore, to get c, we have to square root both sides. So the length of c is the square root of x squared plus y minus 4 all squared. So that's the answer to write down in terms of x and y an expression for the distance of p from the point. So the answer to that will be that expression there. Uh, the distance of p from the line is the same. So there's a key point. Uh, the distance of the line is the same as the distance from the point 0, 4. So what they're telling us is that the distance here, which was y minus 2, is the same as the distance there, which we just calculated as this. So write down an equation which describes this locus. Well, we say that because the two distances are the same, then we just make them equal to each other. So we can say that y minus 2 is equal to the root of x squared plus y minus 4 all squared. So that's the equation that describes this locus, because the rule from the locus is about the rule of uh, how an object moves, and the rule saying that the distances from P to the line there and P to there remain the same at any point. So this point could have moved over here, then they're saying that the distance, no that wouldn't work actually, sorry, um, that distance is going to move, so it's the same all the time. So it's going to be moving in a curve. So let's have a look. It says show that the equation of the locus can be written as, well, basically they want y as the subject. So we've got to rearrange this to make y the subject. Now because we've got y on both sides of the equals, then I have to do something to get the y here onto this side. Um, so we've got to reverse the operation. So we get rid of the square root by squaring both sides. So that gives me y minus 2 all squared is equal to, well, squaring both sides cancels the square root sign. So that leaves me with x squared plus y minus 4 all squared. Uh, remember why that works. The square root of 4 times the square root of 4. If we square, that means we times the same square root by the same square root. Then the square root of 4 now is 2. The square root of 4 now is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So basically, by squaring the square root, it's cancelled out the square root sign to leave us what was inside the square root. So it leaves us with this. Um, expanding both brackets, um, so expanding this one, we get y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals x squared. And expand this one, it's uh, going to give me y squared minus 8y uh, plus 16. 
um, rearranging now to make y the subject, then we can see that we can take y squared from both sides. Um, I want to bring all the y's together, so I'm going to add 8y to this side to cancel that out to nothing. Adding 8y here makes that 4y. I'm going to take away 4 from both sides, so I have 4y equals x squared. Take away 4 from 16 gives me plus 12. I want a single y though, so I have to divide uh, everything by 4. So y is going to equal x squared plus 12, all divided by 4, which is what they wanted just to show. So that's how that's worked. So that's an example of how locus uh, works on a graph and uh, creating equations for a uh, standard point moving anywhere to given rules. So here's a, another example. So what I'd like you to do is stop the video now, try this question, uh, see what you can do by sketching a few things out and then play it uh, when you're ready and then you can uh, see whether you agree with the answers that uh, I'm going to come up with. Okay, so let's go through the answers to this um, example then. So P is a point x, y. Well again, if we just imagine what that looks like. So we have x, y, t, t plane and we have a point x, y somewhere in space uh, called P. So write down an expression for the distance of P from the line y equals 1. Sketch that out, so y equals 1. Uh, write down an expression for the distance of that uh, point. So the distance is going to be there. So it's y is at the position. And we're going to take away the 1. Because that's what was short. We're going all the way down to the x-axis. So for A, write an expression for the y. So it's y minus 1. For part b, write down an expression of the distance for the point 0, 3. So on here we've got a point 0, 3. And it wants the distance there. So again, we can see that we could create a right angle triangle. And so the right angle triangle then has the side lengths um, from here to here is x down to the y-axis. So this will be a distance of x. And the distance from there to there, well, this is at the point 3 on the y-axis. So it's going to be the y in space, take away the 3. So this will be y, take away 3. Right angle triangle. So write down expression for the distance of the point P from the point 0, 3. So it's the right angle triangle, so we're going to find out that. So it's Pythagoras. So x squared, short side squared, plus the other side squared equals c squared from the Pythagoras a squared plus b squared equals c squared, c being the hypotenuse the longest side all the time. So we want to see, therefore it's going to be the square root of this, so the expression they want is the square root of x squared plus y minus 3 all squared. So that's the answer for part b. For part c, uh, p moves so that it's the distance from the line is the same as the distance. So again it's this idea that we've got a rule going on here and they're telling us that the distances are the same. So the answer for A equals the answer for B. So we have Y minus 1 equals the square root of X squared plus Y minus 3 all squared. And it says here we want to find an equation. So again, we've got to look at the question to make sure we've answered it. So it says find an equation, so the locus P. So we want to get Y as a subject. So therefore we're going to have to square both sides. So Y minus 1 all squared. Uh, square and a square root cancels it out, so what's inside will remain. So now we've um, got to make y the subject, so expand the brackets. So y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals x squared plus y squared minus 6y um, plus 9. Uh, rearrange this to make y the subject, so I'm going to add 6y to both sides. Cancel the y squareds out because they disappear. Take away y squared from there, take away y squared from there, balance, add 6y to both sides, gives me 4y, take away 1 from both sides, so I've got 4y equals x squared, um, take away 1 from there, gives me plus 8, and then I divide through by 4 to give me y equals a quarter x squared plus 2. So the equation of the locus of the point P is a quarter x squared plus 2. So another example. Again, 
um, start the video, try the question, and then see whether you can agree with the answers. Okay, so we're going to point to P again, um, so we can imagine where that is in space, general coordinate. So the y axis and the x axis, and the same right down the distance of P from the y axis. Well, because we're not um, from the y axis, it's going in that direction, so that's x, that's the distance away. So the answer for A will simply be x. Right down the distance of P from the x axis, well, that's that distance there, and our second coordinate gives that distance, so that's going to be y. And then it says, find the equation of locus reach these rules. Okay, so for C part 1, uh, the point P moves, so the distance from the y axis is the same as its distance from the x axis. Well, if that's going to move so it's the same all the time, then therefore the x distance and the y distance must always be the same number. So that means when x is 2, y must be 2, when x is 4, y must be 4, when x is minus 5, y must be minus 5. So should recognize that this is the equation of the diagonal y equals x. So basically we're saying here that every point on here is the same distance all the time from the x and the y axis. So it's the y equals x line. For condition two, it says the point P moves so the distance from the y axis is twice its distance from the x axis. So the point P moves so its distance from the y axis, so the distance from the y axis is twice the distance there. So basically they're saying that the distance from the y axis is twice the distance from the x axis. So 2y must be equal to x, so y is equal to a half x. So that's what they're saying there. Uh, for 3, they're telling us that we've got the point P moves so the distance from the y axis is one more than its distance from the x axis. So its distance from the y axis is one more than the distance from the x axis. So x is equal to y plus 1. Uh, we always like equations of points um, moving to be y equals, so rearrange this. So y equals x minus 1. So that is some examples of the equations of um, the locus of points moving given to given rules on a coordinate grid in 2D.